Hello all. What is SLOB rule? For anyone who is learning oral radiology, this SLOB rule may be a familiar topic, but many may have a doubt what is it in reality. So before moving into that, we need to know that to obtain 3D information from a radiograph, that is usually radiographs are 2D diagnostic aids, that is it gives you information in only two dimensions. So in such cases to obtain 3D information there are three techniques used. To identify or to locate any item spatially you need this 3D information. The first technique is that two images are projected at right angles to each other and the tube shift technique is the second technique and CBCT is the third technique. In this video we will see about tube shift shift technique. What is this tube shift technique? It has other names which is also known as buckle object rule, Clark's rule or commonly known by the mnemonic SLOB rule. The Clark's rule name is given because this rule was given by Clark in 1910. So what is this buckle object shift rule? The rationale of this rule is that relative positions of radiographic images of two separate objects change when the projection angle at which the images were made is changed. Now tell me in reality did you understand anything from this? I know it will be a no. So let me move on with some examples which will make you understand easier. First we will see pictorically what it represents. Now this is an intraoral imaginary picture and this is the radiograph. This is the x-ray tube. You are projecting straight to the image straight to the intraoral uh, area which you need to cover this is an impacted tooth which you need to cover okay you need to know whether this impacted tooth is buccal to the premolar or lingual to the premolars therefore the apex of the premolars act as a reference point here you need to know whether you have to remove the impact tooth either by approaching through the buccal aspect or through the lingual aspect so you have to take two IOPAs. The first IOPA is taken in a straight angle to the object of interest. The object of question here is the pre supernumerary premolar. Okay, So from here you are taking an IOPA and the IOPA shows the position of supernumerary impacted tooth. And the second IOPA you have to take with the x-ray tube at an angulation which is shift either the tube is shifted distally or mesially. Here the tube is shifted distally. And when you take an, uh, when the result is uh, shown like this and you see the object has moved distally also compared to this image where the, um, where the position of premolar is noted here, compared to this projection, this IOPA shows the premolar has shifted distally. So the tube has shifted distally, the tube has been shifted distally and the impacted object in question is also shifting distally. In such cases, it is known as same side lingual transition. That is, the object is, has moved in the same side along with the tube. Therefore, it is lingually placed. Now, see this example. The tube has been shifted distally, but the object has shifted mesially when compared to the first IOPA where the projection was done in a straight angle. Okay, So this object, this kind of x-ray denotes that the object is placed buccally. The tube and direction and the object shift direction are opposite. Therefore, it is placed buccally. So this rule will help you determine whether the object is placed lingually or buccally. Same side shift denotes lingual position of the question object and opposite side shift denotes uh, uh, buccal placement of the object in question. So this is given theoretically like you have to take two IOPS at different angle. If the tube is shifted and directed at the reference object from a more mesial direction and the object in question also moves mesially with respect to the reference object. Here the apex of the root will serve as the um, reference object then the object lies lingual to the reference point okay and if the uh, if the tube is shifted and directed at the reference object from a more mesial direction and the object in question appears to move distally 
you have to note here it appears to move distal it is not moving in reality i have seen students asking a question that how the object will move it is not moving it is the, it is the iopa which is showing that the object appears to move distally it is just a relative position on a two diagram two dimensional radiograph okay it appears to move distally with respect to the reference object then the object lies buckle to the reference object so this is given by the acronym slob same side shift will denote lingual position of the object in question opposite side shift will denote buckle position of the object in question if it does not move what if both the projections denote the same position of the impacted tooth that means the reference that same uh, that the if it does not move with reference to the uh, respect to the reference object then the object lies at the same depth in the same vertical plane as the reference object it is in the same line not buccal not lingual it is in the same plane as the reference object that is the premolars here so this is in short about slob rule i took time to explain it to you in detail with ex explanation explanatory images and examples now you could understand this rationally better relative positions of the radiographic images of two separate objects change when the projection angle at which the images were made is changed so this change is used in diagnosing or identifying the position of the objects three dimensionally thank you